David in Sacramento. Hey, David, what's on your mind today? Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Um, so let me make a couple of points here. You know, what I don't understand is that I don't, when the shooting of this issue, this kid, I don't get it that if, you know, you want, to, you want people to respect that there's some good cops and some bad cops. I don't understand why the seven cops that were standing there did not even arrest this guy for actually, you know, shooting. I mean, to be shooting this guy, this kid for some, for so many times. What right. I don't understand is this. We shoot deers. We shoot animals like deer hunting. And they, they only get shot one time. And then they don't shoot him after that. But when you get to a human being, you shoot him six times? Really? Are 16 you times. Me? Are you, it's yeah. crazy. They treat yeah. human beings just like way less than animals. Animals get be- better treated with one shot like deer hunting. It's ridiculous. Yeah. At, le- you know? at least but human the- beings of color. Yes. I, I, I absolutely agree with you. I but, absolutely but agree. But the fact that matters, Tom, Tom my, my point, what I want to make is this. You know, there's going to be people calling and there's going to be people that are going to say, oh, yeah, he had PCP. No, they didn't find that. It's, it's basically a switch play was open. Nope, they didn't find that one. This guy had a bad criminal back, uh, criminal record. They didn't find that. But the fact of the matter is they waited 13 months to basically to charge this cop. And he had a lot of problems, citizens of complaints with racism, you know, on his background. What I don't understand is his attorney general was covering up this thing, was a whole conspiracy, was trying to do everything they can, you know, to basically to cover up this thing so that way they can get these cops off. But you, I don't understand. Why are the good cops not pointing out the bad, the bad cops? And they're just as guilty as everybody else who are doing the same that's, thing. That's my point. They're behaving like criminal gangs. And, and this, is, this is, it should be unacceptable in the United States. It should be absolutely unacceptable. And by the way, Mayor Rahm Emanuel is part of this cover-up as well. Uh, you know, he, he has ultimate authority for this. This has been 13 months that we've known that a murder occurred done by the Chicago Police Department. And, you know, on average, it's like 50 a year, right? But this one, you know, we know was on video. We don't know about the others. And twice, by the way, judges refused the request of news organizations to get the information. This guy, you know, after two FOIA requests were turned down, he, an independent journalist, went in and filed a lawsuit in civil court, which provoked a judge to order the order the release of the videotape. And it wasn't until that judge ordered that the videotape come out that the prosecutor decided to bring charges. Because, you know, it was obvious and, and egregious, but they, they had a cover-up going, and it was going for 13 months. And I'm telling you, this is, this, is, this, is how, this is normal in America. This is not the exception. This is the rule. David, thank you for the call. Joseph. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.